Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this presentation, which is titled Increasing the effectiveness of the bloomery smelting process by using a mobile furnace shaft. Archaeological experiments on the possible reuse of clay shafts during the early Roman period in northern central Europe. After a short introduction and telling you the research questions, we present the results and discuss them. Finally, we lead to the conclusions. During an archaeological excavation because of preparatory works for a new development area, more than 30 remnants of bloomery furnace slag pits and 10 pit houses could have been discovered. This archaeological site is near a small city called Zende, so the site is named Zende 9. Zende is located in Lower Saxony in northern central Europe. Four charcoal samples prepared out of the smelting slag from four different slag pits could be dated to the early Roman period using the radiocarbon method. In the first step, we studied the excavation documents. In the second step, we drafted the following research questions. Which appearance and dimension did the bloomery furnace have? Could the shafts probably have been reused? Are there similar sites in Central Europe? Did exist a knowledge transfer? The excavation plan shows patterns of partially overlapping and adjacent slag pit findings at the site of Zende 9, as you can see in the left graphic. So why do exist such patterns? The overlapping pits could exclude the possibility of running the furnaces during the same time. But why just two or three adjacent slag pits and not four, five or even more? So we developed a model which leads to the idea that a mobile shaft could be reused for increasing the effectiveness in iron smelting. That means that just new slag pits have been generated. We assumed that after the second or finally the third furnace run, the shaft is completely damaged. So we can find two or adjacent three slag pits as archaeological findings. But first we try to build a reconstruction of a bloomery furnace with a clay shaft in dimensions related to the archaeological findings at the site of Zinde 9. Fragments of furnace shafts are very rare. There is only one nearly complete shaft, also dated to the early Roman period from the site of Scharmbeck near Hamburg with a distance of 110 kilometers to the site of Zinde. It was excavated in the year 1957 by Willi Wegewitz. Thanks Radomir Pleiner, this shaft is still mentioned and cited very often today. We decided to consider the dimensions in height and diameter to the shaft type Schambeck. But the first reconstruction, showed in the left graphic, was just made out of relatively coarse-grained clay. During a try to move it, the shaft crumbled before its first smelting run. We decided to reconstruct the shaft with incorporated branches for stabilization. Fragments of such a shaft could have been excavated in Salzgitter Lobmachtersen, located 25 kilometers nearby the site of Zinde, dated to the Younger Roman period. In this case, we used fine-grained clay for more stabilization. The shaft was dried by a fire. After that, it was possible to move it without damaging. In the graphic, you could see A, the first smelting run, B to C, the shaft has been moved away from the slag pit and the iron has been taken away. 
This slack pit cannot be reused. D. A new slack pit was made for the second run. The tires are not firmly attached with the shaft. E. During the further move of the shaft, its basal area, about 20 centimeters, crumbled. F. After building a new basal edge, the shaft stands over the second slack pit and is ready for the second run. While the basal shaft area crumbles during its move away from the slack pit, the upper area is still intact and can be reused for the subsequent smelting process in an adjacent spot. A to C you can see the second smelting run. In D the shaft completely crumbled after the second run and E the third slack pit is builded. The shaft fragments could have been glued by clay. The shaft is ready for the third and last run. The shaft gets lower after each smelting process and the number of its reutilizations is limited to two or three runs. However, when considering the total process time, smelting in a reusable mobile shaft means a measurable increase in effectiveness in contrast to building completely new shafts each time. So we redesigned the model. A reusing a clay furnace shaft is possible. The crumbling from below during a furnace run could be a possible explanation for the limitation of mostly three runs. After the three runs of the smelting experiments, XP7, XP8 and XP9, the area was excavated like an archaeological site. In comparison with archaeological findings, the arrangement of the experimental findings is strikingly similar to the archaeological ones, as you can see in planar and profiles. Many archaeological sites dated to the early Roman period mostly show three grouped slag pits like the site of Seende 9. These are Quedlinburg, Dahlheim, Hitzacker Wedel, Rulstorf and Brunn. That implies social and cultural links. The noticeable and frequent arrangement of the three furnace findings in lines probably is a result of a method to increase effectiveness in bloomery smelting using a reusable mobile shaft. Archaeological experiments on a reconstructed clay shaft stabilized by incorporated branches showed that shaft material is wearing from below during the smelting process. A comparison of these findings from the site of Seende with other sites in northern central Europe showing similar slag pit patterns implies social and cultural links. These are the sources of slide 12. Here is the cited literature. We would very much like to thank the VGH Foundation and the region of Hanover for the financial support. Thank you very much for your attention.